Matt, let's uh, start with a view from uh, the polling information. If the Conservatives were to change their policies on net zero, and in particular not to offer the prospect of people having to get rid of their petrol and diesel cars, not have to get rid of their gas boilers and put in heat pumps and so on, would they gain from that? Would the Conservatives gain if they changed the policy? Well, good morning, Michael. I'm afraid I'm not particularly convinced by this uh, fashionable argument at the moment. If you look at the top three issues for all voters out there, ULES, net zero, it's just nowhere up there. It's the economy, it's the National Health Service, and it's immigration. So my advice to Rishi Sunak would be quite different. On these numbers, you're heading for opposition. Across all three by-elections, you're down about 20 three points on average, that's a Labour majority. What people want to see is easing the cost of living, uh, improving the National Health Service, and lowering all immigration, not just illegal, but also legal migration. Those are the three issues that he really has to zoom in on with a laser-like focus. ULES, uh, net zero, this is a convenient story for the Conservative grassroots, but it is not, in my opinion, going to change the next general election. But Matt, in a way, the point you make is double-edged because if the environment is not in the top three issue, uh, issues for most people, why are the Conservatives wedded to a policy in which many of them don't believe? Uh, and indeed, many of them believe it's going to bring about economic disaster and economic advantage for other countries like China. Yeah, I mean, I think if you poll voters out there, uh, I sit in focus groups all the time with voters. Michael, I was in a focus group last week in the Red Wall. You les net zero, it's just not coming up as an issue. It, it, for conservative grassroots activists, yes, it's it's an issue they want to get their arms around. They want to talk about it. They want to see the subsidies gone. They want to see Rishi Sunak taking action. But I can tell you, Michael, out there in the country, it is really about council tax, mortgage rates, food prices, NHS waiting lists. Nobody's picking up the phone when I call the GP. And look, just, just look at the fundamentals of these by-election results for a minute. You're talking about, on average, a 23-point swing against the Conservatives. I mean, the, the sort of narrative that's come out over the last 24 hours, I think, is quite misleading. The Conservatives are heading into opposition. Labour are heading towards a majority. And if anything, what few Conservatives seem to have picked up on is Labour actually performed at these by-elections, as well as they're performing in the national polls. That should really worry number 10. It's not like the by-elections a few months ago where they underperformed the national polling uh, story. Here, they actually performed as well as the national polls, which suggests again to me that the Conservatives are in serious, serious trouble.